once again everyone welcome back to my channel for this week's video I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my little polka dotted pencil case during my look term sketchbook video I got asked a lot to show what was in this case and the Copic colors that I carry around with me on a daily basis so in this video I'm going to show you all the colors and all the other little fun things that I carry around with me so I can do art when I am out and about so this is the pencil case that I use. I got this pencil case from Jet Pens. There will be a link in the video description down below. There's a bunch of different designs besides this one, but I liked the teal and the canvas. It's by, I think, Del Day is how you pronounce this, but I will have a link to all of the products that are in this little pencil case line in the description down below if you want to check that out. The thing I like about this pencil case the most is that it has the zipper top, so when you unzip it, it has these little tabby things on the side and you can pull it down and then it becomes like a little cup for you to keep all your pens and pencils in when you're working. It makes it so you don't lose anything because I just, when I finish using something I just put it back and I don't have to worry about stuff rolling away or anything. And in case anyone was wondering, because I know I will get asked this, this is my desk in my art studio. I will be doing a studio tour someday soon when my studio is actually clean, so that's what this background is. I just kind of wanted to change it up from a just plain white background, which is usually my table, so that's what this is. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start at the top. This is my teeny tiny Tombow Mono Eraser. These are my favorite plastic erasers. Um, I just like the way they work. For a long time, I couldn't find these anymore because I think they stopped manufacturing them. But I think that they started making them again, and when I saw them for sale again, I bought like 50 million. <laughs> but I bought these from Jet Pens too, and I will leave a link in the video description below so you can check these out if you're interested. They work really well, and this one is one of the tiny ones, so it fits right on top of here. So the next thing I'm going to pull out of here is actually two little things. These are my current favorite... <laughs> Um, drawing pencils. These are the Prismacolor Very Thin. This one is getting pretty short, that's why I have a larger one, but they're both in the same color, which is crimson red. Um, I like these. They have an eraser. They're very similar to the Colorace. I just like the color of this Very Thin rather than just the red Colorace. So those are what I normally draw with when I am out. The next thing I'm going to grab is what I usually line all my art with. This is the Uniball Signo DX Pen. I think this color is Bordeaux, but I might be wrong. It might be burgundy or something, but it is a dark red. It is a fine tipped pen, and I just really like the color. Yeah. And I like how it looks with my art. So that is what I outline all my little drawings with in my sketchbook. Next, I don't know why this is in here, because I actually use this. I have two white gel pens. One I don't use, which is the Sakura Jelly Whirl. Um, this used to be my favorite for doing white highlights until I found this one. This is the Sakura Dekoreze. If we're doing it the Japanese way, it's Dekoreze. Um, this is a white gel pen that the top is really hard to get off of. Um, well, that's because this one is brand new. <laughs> that's why the top is hard to get off of. Um, but this is a white gel pen. I just really like the way this pen flows. The ink is really opaque. And I like it a lot better than this. I bought this from Jet Pens as well. This isn't sponsored by Jet Pens, by the way. I just buy stuff from there a lot. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice white gel pen if you're looking for one. And it's super cute too. And they come in colors as well. Oh yeah, it had plastic on it. Hm, who knew? Alright, so now we are going to get onto the Copic colors that I carry around with me on a daily basis. Here they are. I'm not going to go into too much detail about these. Um, I, a lot of people ask me how I picked my color palette. Um, I started off with two colors that I wanted to have in my color palette, which were these. R43, which is this word, if it would focus. And BG13, which is mint green. These are two of my favorite colors. Um, I like kind of pinky colors and tealy colors, so I wanted to kind of build a color palette around that. So these are the two that I started with. So these are the pinks and reds that I have in my little pencil case. I have E93, E04, R81, R43, and R89. I use these for various things, including skin colors, hair colors, um, adding blush to characters, 
and coloring clothes and things like that. So these are the pinks and reds. So I only have two greens in my set. I find that I don't use green very often since I'm normally coloring characters and things like that. But I do have G46 and G43, which is mistletoe and pistachio, but I like these two greens so I will probably keep them in my little pencil case. So these are the blues that I have in my pencil case. I have BG13, B28, B39, BG000, and B95. B95 I actually really recently added. I replaced, I don't remember which color it was. Another blue that I used up all the ink for and have not bought a refill for yet, so I just went ahead and replaced the color. I'll probably be removing B28 from my set as well since I normally don't use it. But I use these for a lot of different things. I use them for coloring water a lot and clothing and hair and all that kind of stuff. Um, I color a lot of water with these, but yeah. And these I'm going to call the grays, even though three of them are technically blue violets, but I use them as grays. I have BV23, BV25, BV31, and W2. W2 is the only actual gray that I have in my set. Um, I use it for coloring rocks and sometimes skin and a lot of just like background wash tones and things like that. Um, the BV25 I use mainly as a black substitute since I don't use black when I'm coloring anything ever. So I like the look of the BVs, BV25 and BV23. And then I use BV31 to add like shading to skin and to add shading to pretty much everything because I like the way that it looks as a shadow color. Alright, and last but not least are the five browns that are in my pencil case. I use these mainly for coloring skin and hair and clothes and like the ground <laughs> and like trees and stuff. I have E37, E25, E01, YR30, and E51. Um, yeah, not much else to say about this. E Heel one is the color I normally put down if I'm coloring like a little self-portrait of me. That's the skin color I use and I use E51 as like my hair color, even though it's nothing like my actual hair color. And YR30 is a very, very pale color. That's macadamia nut, but I use it when I'm doing my bathtub mermaids. I usually color the bathtub this color. And I just think that it looks really nice to have a color that's this light to use for something that's white. I don't like leaving white things just white. So that is the selection of browns that I have in my tiny pencil case. Alrighty, there's all the markers in the pencil case. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to know anything more about the colors that I talked about, you can feel free to leave me a comment down below. If you'd like to tell me what's in your pencil case, you can also leave me a comment down below. I love hearing about what other people carry around with them to make art because sometimes it inspires me to try new things. So let me know what you carry in your pencil case. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give my video a like. It really helps to support my channel and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next week for another video.